بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كافها يا عين صاد ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا إذ نادى ربه نداء خفيا قال رب إني وهنى العزم مني واستعل الرأس صيبا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي The topic today is the qualities of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help me, to guide me, and to guide every human being to understand and to love the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I think one of the most difficult topics that a scholar will discuss is to attempt to assess or to discuss about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Normally researchers find it difficult to deal with their research base because of a number of reasons. One of them is sometimes if you don't have nothing written about the subject or the individual that you want to research. The other difficulty lies in having too much resources too much sources about the individual or the topic that you want to discuss. And I think in this case of the Prophet, it's about having too much about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet is the connection and the link between the unknown Allah and the unknowable. Between Allah, the unknown and the unknowable, and the world of matter between the world of metaphysics and the world of physics. So the Prophet ﷺ has a very subtle personality, very simple but very difficult to understand because he is the connection, he is the link between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and mankind. Allah is unknown. The reality of Allah is unknown and unknowable. And the world of physics is a world of zahir, and the connection and the link between them is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That makes him very, very special. And that is why all good men and women, all pious men and women, all successful men and women of all times and locations have attempted in one way or the other to, t to praise him, to assess him, to value him, but they're all have found it difficult. All of them have found it difficult because it's an ocean which is very difficult to assess. But all of them have found benefit in trying to assess him, trying to praise him, because loving him is one of the fundamentals of this system. It's one of the fundamentals of our worship and our devotional acts to love the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, he said that no Muslim would be perfect if you don't love him more than you love yourself, more than you love your family, more than you love your parents. And Omar ibn al-Khattab reacted to that by saying, I still feel that I love you very much, but I love myself more. He said, Omar is not yet. Until the day that Omar said, I really feel that I love you more. He said, that is it, Omar. And if you see Abu Bakr, being the best among the companions according to the Holy Sunnah al-Jama'ah is that he loved the Prophet and his understanding of him. So all men and women of good all times try to assist the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that makes it very difficult. Then to do justice to myself, to humbly talk about the Prophet, I would just say what Busayri say, فَمَبْلَغُ الْعَلْمِ فِيهِ that the best of my knowledge about him is that he is a human being, but not only that, he is the best of all human beings. 
Another one says, فَاقَ النَّبِيِّينَ فِي خَلْقٍ وَفِي خُلُقٍ وَلَمْ يُدَانُهُ فِي عِلْمٍ وَفِي كَرَمٍ The Prophet ﷺ is above all prophets. If you compare him, you just cannot compare him with ordinary people. You even cannot compare him with the saint in their different categories, but you have to compare him with the prophets. When you compare him with the, with the prophets, it is where now you see him. فَاقَ النَّبِيِّينَ فِي خَلْقٍ وَفِي خُلُقٍ وَلَمْ يُدَانُهُ فِي عِلْمٍ وَفِي كَرَمٍ He is above all the prophets. فِي خَلْقٍ in his, in his appearance. He was very handsome. وَفِي خُلُقٍ and in his, in his conduct. وَلَمْ يُدَانُهُ فِي عِلْمٍ وَفِي كَرَمٍ And they are not even nearer to him, nearer to him when it comes to knowledge and generosity. The other one said, إِنَّمَا مَثَّلُوا صِفَاتِكَ لِلنَّاسِ كَمَا مَثَّلَ النُّجُومَ الْمَاءُ that when you compare the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with all the previous prophets from Adam alayhi salatu wa sallam to Moses, to Jesus alayhi salatu wa sallam, it's as if you are now comparing a seed. You see, when you, have, when you look at a pond or a river and then you see the moon in the river, he said the, the moon you see in the river, these are the moon that represent the prophets. But the real moon up is you, Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam. إنما مثلوا صفاتك للناس كما مثل النجوم الماء. Then he is the prophet about whom all the previous prophets talked about. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith, أنا دعوة إبراهيم وبشرى عيسى. I am the supplications of Abraham when Abraham said, ربنا بعث ربنا وبعث فيهم رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياتك ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة ويزكيهم إنك أنت عزيز الحكيم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is reported to have said, I am the supplications of Prophet Abraham and the good tidings of عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام. أنا دعوة إبراهيم وبشرى عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام. And the Prophet the Prophet Abraham the supplication was Rabbana ibaath him. He raised his hands and said to Allah, please send in him, send from him, from, from, from them, meaning from the Arabs, Rasulan, a prophet, minhum, yetlu alayhim, who would read unto them, ayatika, your verses, your signs, and wa yu'allimuhumul kitaba, and teach them the book, wal hikamata, teach them also the wisdom, wa yuzakihim, and purify them, innaka anta azizul hakim. These supplications of Abraham, which we have seen the results in Makkah, inni taratu biwadin ghayri thizaran enda bayatika al-muharrami rabbana li yuqimu salata, faj'al afidatam yan nasi tahuihim. Whatever you see now in Mecca, it is as a result of the supplications of Abraham. Prophet Abraham alayhi salatu wa salam. But the embodiment of all the supplications is Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. He said, Ana da'wa to Ibrahim. I am the supplications of Prophet Abraham and the Bushra of Isa. When Isa alayhi salatu wa salam said to his people, wa mubashiran bi rasulin ya'ati min ba'dihi ismu Ahmad. Isa alayhi salatu wa salam talked to his people and informed them that there will be the leader of the universe is coming after me and his name is Ahmad. Then I am the da'wah to Ibrahim and the Busra of Isa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was praised, he was assessed by not only the prophets but also space and time and matter. Each one of them tried to also praise the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. مَا مَضَتْ فَطْرَةٌ مِنَ الرُّسْلِ إِلَّا بَشْتَرَتْ قَوْمَهَا بِكَ الْأَنْبِيَاءُ تَتَبَاهَا بِكَ الْعُصُورُ وَتَسْمُوا بِكَ عَلِيَاءُ بَعْضَهَا عَلِيَاءُ No time ever elapsed. Time ever elapsed. No period has ever passed until every prophet gave good tidings to his people about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not only the prophets, but even time. تَتَبَاهَا بِكَ الْعُصُورُ وَتَسْمُوا بِكَ عَلِيَاءُ بَعْدَهَا عَلِيَاءُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرُ الْقُرُونِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ He said, the best of the centuries is the century I lived. And then the next is better than the next. And then the next is better than the next. But the previous centuries before him, every century that comes closer to the Prophet used to feel proud of itself and also to express the pride that I am going closer to the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Then not only about human beings, but even time 